Hey YouTube, Jam and Jamie here. I just wanted to talk about some of the Atlas brand yard tools from Harbor Freight. I've had these for almost a year now. I know it doesn't look like that because I got the boxes here, but I do say the boxes are kind of weird like that. Uh, but I've been wanting to talk uh, about them for a while now. The whole reason why I went with the Atlas brand is I was looking around for a good quality blower. This uh, was probably one of the best ones I could find last year for the price point. And now that I've had them for a year, I'm going to talk quickly about why I like them and my favorite things about them. I went with the Atlas 80 volt blower, uh, mostly because it's rated for 150 miles per hour and 605 CFM if you compare that with other ones in its uh, competitive range and its price range. This was ranked pretty high for the price point. Uh, I do like the look of it. I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, so I decided to go to Harbor Freight and get this set up. Um, and with these 80 volt tools, they have a lot of other options. They have mowers, chainsaw, and a stringer. Um, what I'm going to talk about today is this 80 volt blower and then I also got the 40 volt string trimmer, 24 inch hedge trimmer which is also 40 volt. <laughs> Alright, so my favorite thing about all of these so far is I don't have to deal with small gas engines. There's no messing with carburetors, no messing with fuel filters, air filters, no having to pull crank these small engines over and over trying to get them started. Uh, that's one of my favorite things. Uh, another favorite thing is my kids can use them, so my my youngest can just pick this up and start blowing off the driveway. So no gas or pool starting or anything, all you need to do is have your battery charged and you can just slide it in and it's ready to go. And with all these, all you should do is pull the trigger, you know, just like any, any machine. Some of the things I say about this blower, it's a brushless motor, so it should have a longer life. Uh, should have more power, but we use these for blowing out the barn, blowing off the driveway. Uh, I actually use them to blow out my cars when they get dirty. I'll open the doors and I'll just kind of blow them out. And again, there's no starting them up. You just, I just pull it out of the garage and just press the button and it's ready to go. The hedge trimmer, I got the 40 volt model. I don't even think they have an 80 volt model. Um, and again, this works great. Uh, so I, have, I bought two batteries. I bought an 80 volt battery and a 40 volt battery. Now, the 40 volt battery only works in the 40 volt models, but this 80 volt battery, which is pretty nice, it works in the 80 volt models and the 40 volt models. So I can use this, the 80 volt blower, and then my 40 volt uh, hedge trimmer, 40 volt uh, string trimmer as well. So the, different, the one thing is uh, this 80 volt battery does have a little bit more weight to it. The 40 volt battery is nice because it's light, so if my youngest son wants to use the string trimmer, he can just put that on and it's still nice and lightweight. Okay, so the 40 volt hedge trimmer, it's nice. Again, it's just pretty much plug and play. So you just put your uh, 40 volt battery and just slide it in. And uh, you just have to push this in and then you can operate it. Um, again, no messing with oil, gas mix, or any of that stuff. Another thing I forgot to mention before is, I remember with my old, I used to have an old steel um, gas hedge trimmer. It was nice, but I did smell the fumes all the time. And that's really nice with this, you don't smell any fumes. Uh, and it's easy on the lungs. Uh, so this is pretty straightforward, it, like any hedge trimmer, I'll show you a video of, of it. Um, the one thing, cool thing that this does have is it has a rotating handle, so if I wanted to trim up a bush like that, I can do it like this, rotate it like that, or rotate it back. So it rotates like this, or like that. So whatever is most comfortable with your arms, you can rotate it the way you want. And this has been working good as well, uh, no complaints. Uh, so both batteries work pretty good. We have about an acre of mowing to do and trimming. Uh, so these batteries last for whatever I need to do. As soon as I'm done, usually try and like to charge them so they're ready to go for the next time. So I had to buy both batteries separately and then this charger I had to buy separately. They have a rapid charger, which I did not get. Um, this can charge both the 80 and the 40 volt batteries. 
it works pretty good as long as as soon as you're done with it you just plug it in and it's ready for the next time so i got this uh, 40 volt uh grass trimmer string trimmer um i was trying to decide between this and the 80 volt and i didn't see much difference in the power so i just went with the 40 volt to save a little bit of money and this works great again my favorite thing is my youngest kid can just pick it up and just start trimming doesn't have to try and doesn't have to say hey dad i need you to start the tr gas trimmer for me or whatever you can just pick it up and he's ready to go um so it's just like any other um trimmer has a bump feed um it's fairly easy to restring there it is and as you can see <laughs> it's pretty dirty again we've been using this for almost a year now um so it's lightweight pretty well balanced this takes the 40 volt and you just pop it in here and yeah it has a nice handle and uh, again i can just pick it up and i'm ready to go in a couple of seconds no crank starting or anything like that and uh one of my kids, if I need them to go out and trim, say, hey, go grab the trimmer or go grab the blower and get to work and they're able to pick it up and operate it easily. The two other tools I plan on getting with this group is the 10 inch pole saw, the 40 volt pole saw, and they have a 80 volt chainsaw, which I'm looking forward to use. Again, these, these are nice. These battery ones are nice because they're not loud. So it's nice to uh, just have quiet operation. Uh, so again, uh, the Atlas models from Harbor Freight, I'm a big fan. I'd recommend them. I know there's a lot, of, a lot of similar options out there. The price range on these for the quality, I'd have to say is pretty good. I know there's some equivalent brands in the big box stores. I'm not getting paid to say any of this. I just wanted to do a review. Um, so yeah, I, these are a good one. Good uh, Atlas is a good brand to go with. And I've been happy with them so far for this uh, year of use. So I hope this helps. Uh, if it helped you, please like and subscribe and I'll get you some more videos like this. Uh, and thanks for, uh, thanks for watching.